This film is basically Sony Pictures Animation's answer to Aladdin. Six hours ago, I just saw this new Sony Pictures animation movie via Netflix, and it's named Wish Dragon, so I'm going to tell the synopsis. This modern retelling of the fairy tale that picks up the challenges that encounters a boy and a dragon to make three wishes to find, find Din Song's long lost friend. Now, as I finish watching this film, what do I think of it? It's really good in my opinion. Let me tell you the reasons. 1. A really solid premise, such as, let me how to sum it up the premise. Allow me to sum it up in one easy, you know, you know what I'm saying. The premise is basically like an Aladdin meets How to Train a Dragon. That's my summary on the premise. Two, decent animation. Three, some funny slash emotional moments here and there. Four, they explained how the wish dragon has been in the teapot very well before the near end of the movie. Five, I am a god! You know, I'm imitating that quote to the person that offered Dim Song the teapot in the beginning of the movie. Six, nice directing from Chris Apollhint. And seven, the music score was pretty nice. So, to wrap up this review, do I have any negatives? Well, I have one. My only problem with this movie is the villain in this film is kind of a bit generic in my opinion. So, yeah. Overall, guys, Wish Dragon is really a good movie. Well, not as the same level as, as Sony Pictures Animation's last movie, which is the Mitchells vs. the Machines, in my opinion, but that's okay. I'm gonna give Wish Dragon an 8 out of 10. So that concludes my short review on Wish Dragon. So credit to everything. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And my next review... This Saturday is going to be DreamWorks Spirit Untamed, since I'm going to watch that movie on a Google Drive link, since I really have mixed feelings about Spirit Untamed, but we'll see, who knows. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.